How are you guys? I am Tracy Jackson, also known as the Spiritual Cheerleader. Um, I wanted to come on and do part two of the Earth Warriors <laughs> review. I did part one a few weeks back when I had just gotten the deck, uh, just did the unboxing, and I wanted to do um, a an actual reading with the deck today. Um, I've been playing with the deck for now two or three weeks, um, have been pulling cards from it pretty much every day, and I can say truthfully the energy on this deck is freaking amazing. Um, so uh, in case you haven't gotten it, I definitely highly, highly recommend it. Um, you can get it uh, anywhere. You can get it off of Alana Fairchild's website. You can also get it on Amazon. That's where I bought mine um, and several other locations. So um, in case you don't know, uh, I am <laughs> obsessed with Alana's decks. Um, I have uh, these physical decks. I also have a couple of her online app decks. And I am actually um, currently in her um, Soul Guidance and Sacred Mentoring course, which is freaking amazing. I'm about to do um, uh, my homework for this week for that class um, right after this video. So I'm super excited. I'm already in that energy. Um, just to give you a little information on me, um, you might see it here in my shirt, um, but I am an actual attorney. <laughs> I, I did go to Tulane Law School. Um, I am an attorney, um, but I absolutely love Oracle cards, love uh, tarot cards, and um, I have been feeling this call to um, really help to spread love and elevate the consciousness of uh, the world and heal the world through love. Um, and that's why I call myself the spiritual cheerleader um, because I am all about encouraging and helping people to um, to find what they love to do and do it. Um, I, I settled for so long um, not being happy uh, in what I was doing that I don't want anyone else to have to go through that. So that's that's basically um, what I do in a nutshell. I help you to infuse love, um, abundance, prosperity into your life on a daily basis. Um, infuse peace as well um, so that so that you can navigate each day um, the at your highest potential that that's really really it um, you know getting up every day and like feeling cranky and living for the weekends is no bueno so um, <laughs> that's basically um, you know my my goal in a nutshell is to help you um, to be able to establish that divine connection um, and really utilize it in your daily life and one of the ways that I I connect divinely is through my oracle cards um, I, I also do several other things um, which I can share with you uh, if you'd like to talk further but um, this is one of my main ways to do it so let's get to it um i have the deck here um i've been like i said i've been playing with it for the last two weeks um the readings are absolutely spot on and i have been asking varying questions to it um you know i usually pull these cards in the morning um and my my usual message message is you know, what can I do to help heal the world today, elevate the consciousness today? Um, how can I step into my role as an earth warrior today? So um, I'm going to use that question uh, for myself today. Um, I pull cards every day um, for myself, um, which some might think is weird because most, you know, oracle card readers, tarot readers pull for other people and sometimes they don't ever pull for themselves, which... I, I'm like, I can't even imagine. Um, so I shuffled my deck, but I like to allow cards to pop out. And I just got one. This is the card I pulled, Nana Buluku. Um, and I actually pulled this card a few days back. Um, this, uh, this <laughs> it says she rests to create. 
is is the message underneath it. Um, and this is an African goddess uh, who actually, you know, created is said to have created the world and then you rested, which is very similar to the Christian tradition um, with uh, a god, uh, you know, a male, usually it's uh, depicted as a male god who has created the earth uh, and everything in it uh, in six days and then on the seventh day he rested. It's The, the story is very similar for uh, Nana Baluku. So uh, I'm going to just read the message here because um, that's one thing I'm not sure if I shared on my last video, but as you can see, it's a pretty extensive, we got four pages worth of information. Um, and that's true of pretty much all of Alana's decks. Um, they are going to have a significant amount of information in the guidebook. And I like that because not only does it give me um, insight on t into each of these, uh, you know, cards, like it, because obviously this card is about a, a goddess. And so it gives me the background on that goddess, but it also tells me how I can apply this um, to my life and how she's showing up for me when I pull this card. So uh, she goes and gives you kind of like a summary message in the in the first part. She says, uh, your energy is a precious resource and there are ways of being that can enhance it, amplifying it and replenishing it. Give yourself sufficient rest and you shall find the way forward more effortless. Explore the lifestyle that grows your inner resources rather than requiring constant exertion and exhaustion to accomplish an endless list of external pursuits. You need this shift in being now because you are ready to accomplish more. For this to take place, there needs to be less effort and more wisdom. Trust and value what can be accomplished through rest. Okay, so that's basically the summary of the card in, in whole. Uh, she then gives a message that it says in a reading. Uh, uh, you have more than enough energy to bring to life the sacred visions held within your heart. An increase of energy and peacefulness is indicated. You are guided to choose high energy people, places, and purposes. This does not necessarily mean that which is highly stimulating. Rather, it refers to that which regenerates you with peacefulness and joy. Give generously to yourself to be able to give generously to others. You have unusual ideas or ways of being that suit you, but may not suit others. Work with what works best for you without trying to force yourself to conform. That brings well-being and creative success. So that's the reading for me. That's really, um, you know, what I need to do with this energy and what this card is showing up and telling me that I need to do. It tells me that I need to get more into the divine feminine and uh, really use my energy wisely to create the things I need to create and not just work to work. Um, I need to really be, you know, hone in and be productive with the, the amount of time that I'm working so that I don't expend my energy such that I'm just, you know, depleted and I can't share. Um, and so that has definitely been something that has shown up for me, um, you know, in these past couple of months, because I, number one, have a limited amount of free time to be able to push forward. Um, and so I have to be really, really conservative with uh, my energy because I'm expending it uh, doing, doing other things. So I need to really have it focused when I'm doing my work. All right, and so the next portion of this is spiritual guidance, and this kind of gives you the background on Nana Baluku. Um, it tells you she's an African grandmother creatrix, the supreme feminine creative principle. Um, it says she created the universe, then rested, which is what I mentioned earlier. Um, it says African spirituality is based on a holistic worldview where no issue in one's life is separate from the spiritual world. This has been a message that has really been coming through for me um, over the course of, I would say, the past two weeks is like not recognizing that I'm not just my job and then my friends and then there's a spiritual aspect. It's all together. The spirituality runs through it all. 
Um, and I've really been seeing that in this past couple of weeks as well. So um, it talks about that. It really gives a lot of information on her. And then finally, it talks about the healing process. Each, um, each deck um, from Alana either has some kind of healing process or it has a, like an invocation, a prayer uh, in which you can uh, invoke the the um, goddess, deity, entity, um, energy that is present within the card. So for this healing process, you're advised to um, find a place to rest, lie down flat on your back with your legs and arms slightly apart, preferably with soft lighting so that you can close your eyes. The aim is to create a restful environment that will feel supportive of you slowing down your thought processes and settling out of your head into your body. Gaze at the card image, noticing the soft circles that surround the head of the goddess. Allow your vision to soften and even become a little blurry as you slowly and gently shift your gaze from circle to circle. Do not focus sharply on anything, but just lightly and easily shift your gaze from left to right and right to left, up and down and down and up from circle to circle. Do this slowly until it feels lightly hypnotic and relaxing. You are going to imagine, visualize, feel, or pretend that your thoughts can drift out of your head, moving around outside of your head, becoming like soft round circles. The more the thoughts become soft, round, and gently moving outside of your head, the more peaceful and restful the inside of your head feels. You can relax more deeply for healing and restoration. When you are ready, Lay the card beside you and close your eyes. Rest for as long as feels good. When you are ready to awaken from rest, ground yourself with some physical movement as you bring yourself back into the now. You have completed your healing process. So I, I pulled that card for you know myself because that's something that I obviously need. But I do feel that that message is a message for someone who is watching this video right now. And so I want to encourage you to take the time to do the healing process if you know that that is you, if you know that you need to um, pull back on you know, working harder and work smarter, um, use this healing process to tap into that energy, tap into that resource. Um, and you know, if you are inclined, I highly recommend <laughs> picking up these amazing cards. They're, as you can see, very colorful, very beautiful. The energy on them is just absolutely amazing. Um, and if you um, are not so inclined to uh, want to purchase the card yourself, but you want a reading from this deck or any of uh, Alana's other decks, feel free to reach out to me. I do do um, card readings for uh, individuals and um, I would love to do um, a card reading for you. Obviously, um, I love Alana's decks because they absolutely do have this healing energy in them and sometimes that's really what we need um a lot of times you know with cards I, I have decks by <laughs> pretty much everybody sometimes it's nice just to know things like surface but sometimes there are things in us that really really need to be worked on and healed and until we you know really deep dive in it and allow that energy um, that healing energy to go within, we can't really experience that healing. So um, if you, like I said, are inclined to want uh, a, a healing uh, intuitive reading, then feel free to reach out to me. Um, if this video served you, I would love to know in the comments. I know several of you guys uh, responded in the first video and I appreciate it. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Um, and you can always follow me on uh, Facebook. Uh, I'll put the link in my uh, message below and uh, you can join me in my group. I have a group on Facebook called Spiritual Gold Diggers um, and I, I post every day in there and, and share messages of encouragement uh, with you as well as having a, 
a fun little party on Sunday nights to get you prepped and ready to go back to work on Monday. So um, I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful, wonderful